international model, Adriana Mears, is making strides. Um, I think she's been doing that for a while now. Recently, she appeared in a Canadian rapper Drake's music video, What's Next? And now she's um, making her way to, through law school, I think. She has a lot on her plate, and she zooms in now from Toronto uh, to tell us more. Hey, Adriana, welcome to Smile Jamaica. Good morning. Thank you for having me. It is our pleasure. All is well, I hope. Yes, all is well. I'm healthy, I'm alive, I can't complain. Yeah, give thanks, give thanks. Um, tell me about the journey now. You left here when, what, you were 10 years old? Yes, I left Jamaica when I was 10 years old. I moved to Edmonton, Canada with my dad and my sister. And yeah, it's been, I think, 16 years now since I've been living in the Great White North. Yeah, well, Edmonton should have been freezing cold, don't. Always, always, and that's why I had to leave. It's so cold. <laughs> yeah. When did the, the, the modeling start, and how did you get involved in this Drake video before we talk about law school? Um, when did the modeling start? So um, I have an older sister who is also a model, so when I turned 18, her agency actually approached me and asked me if I would give it a try. I was always the tomboy in my family, so modeling was never my thing, but I did give it a try. I was in university at the time, so for the first few years, uh, nothing really happened with it, but then I moved to Toronto after a couple of years, and uh, I booked my first Under Armour campaign, and things kind of just started to take off after that. So you're signed now with the modeling agency and stuff? Yeah, so I'm signed internationally. I'm represented in Canada, in Germany, uh, in South Africa, and now I'm actually looking to go to New York. New yeah. York. Yeah. Some people see stuff like what you do, stuff like what even we do here, and this is, it's all glamour for them. But this is hard work, isn't it? It's very hard work. That's the thing. People always see the final result. They always see the beautiful campaigns, but they don't see the work that actually goes in uh, behind the scenes. I work out twice a day. I have to make sure I'm maintaining what I eat all the time. My hair has to be in good shape. My skin has to be in good shape. And also, you know, being an international model, it takes a, a toll on your mental health. You're traveling the world. It's a lot of lonely hotel rooms. Um, every time you work, it's with a new team. You always have to get along with everybody because you're the product that they're selling. So oh. it's, it's a lot. Yeah. But it's, it's rewarding also, isn't it? It's very rewarding. I, I can't complain. Yeah. I'm reading here, you describe the production which took place at Drake's mansion as one of the hardest jobs you've ever done. <laughs> First, tell me how you got the job and then tell me why, it's, was, why was it hard? Okay, so honestly, I got that Drake appearance from visualizing and manifesting. I started reading this book that talks about the power of your thoughts and, and making them your reality. And I know this might sound crazy, but two days before I got the call that I was going to be in Drake's video, I sat there with his album and I was manifesting like, wow, it'd be so cool to work with Drake. And two days later, I got a call from my agent. It was so random, but it felt so right. And she said, you're, you're going to Drake's house and you're, you're shooting a, a music video for him. And I almost fainted, honestly. <laughs> um, it was crazy because I'm such a fan of his ever since I was in the seventh grade. So that was so rewarding. And then I, I did say that it was the hardest job because especially, you know, being a Jamaican girl growing up in the islands of the sun, we were out there in minus 20 weather, laying in the snow in his backyard. I know the scene that we're in is quite short, but you can't tell. We were laying in the snow for about 30 minutes. It was supposed to be longer, but we were freezing. And my legs were purple when I got out of the snow because we were laying there for so long. It was really, really hard. Wow. But again, yeah. it was rewarding. <laughs> I'm here, so it was definitely rewarding. <laughs> Three seconds, but I'm here with you, Neville, so... Yeah. And, and, and I, I watched the video. I, I didn't know about it, but I watched the video when I found out I was doing this, and it's, it's a nice video, and, I, I, and you did well. Tell me about law school now, or being a lawyer. Right, so um, I've graduated from the University of Alberta here in Canada. I did a double major in political science and sociology. I did a semester abroad at the University of Cape Town where I did study law, um, but I plan to go to law school here in Canada, but I've decided to delay law school here while I focus on my modeling career. 
Um, once you get into law school, everything becomes very serious. And in the modeling industry, they, they tend to capitalize on your youth. So school is always going to be there at the end of the day. I've already got my first degree, so I'm just taking this time to focus on modeling. And then I will transition to law school. I definitely see myself working in uh, foreign policy or being a diplomat of some capacity. Yeah. Um, go back to being the model just a bit. Are you where you are? Or are you where you want to be? Or is there more that you want to achieve here? And if so, what else do you want to achieve as a model? This is definitely just the beginning. I'm just tapping into my potential in the industry. I mean, if you think about it, uh, I was only featured in this Drake video for three seconds and the amount of publicity that I've gotten from this, it's crazy. And, you know, there were other models in the video but here I am talking to you and I was in the Gleaner and, and all these other interviews. So I just feel like everything is aligning for me and it's working out for me. And I just have so much more to give. Um, I definitely see myself heading to New York uh, this year. So I have big things coming. Fantastic. What about law? Uh, specific? Uh, what? Uh, criminal law? What kind of law are you going to do? I started out with a passion for human rights law, but I definitely see myself working in international relations, like I said, foreign policy. I'm very passionate about stuff like that. And I think um, whether you're practicing litigation or what, whatever form of law you are doing, there's so much good that can be done if it's done right as a lawyer. And uh, I think whatever field I do choose to work in, I will feel fulfilled and I'll be able to help people. Okay, so I'm going to have to hang around for a while before I get myself in trouble because you're not going to be a lawyer for a little while. Huh? And then I send, <laughs> send for my overseas lawyer, say they need to come down. <laughs> and I'll give you a discount too because you're Jamaican, 10%. <laughs> um, I don't know if you have any memories of a 10-year-old, but anyone you want to say hi to in Jamaica? Absolutely. I want to pick up everybody in Portobello. Um, any of my old classmates from Barksburg Primary School, it's been a long time, but... Look at me now, here I am in Canada, and I definitely will never forget where I came from. I'll always remember my roots and, and growing up in Jamaica. I love, I love my country. Right. Anything specific you miss about Jamaica? Uh, you know what? The food. And I can get Jamaican food here in Toronto, but it doesn't taste the same. There's something about the water in Jamaica when you cook there. Maybe it's the soil, maybe it's how things grow, but everything tastes better in Jamaica. So I definitely miss that. And I miss eating shrimp from off the side of the road. You know those people that sell shrimp on the road? Uh, I miss yeah. eating that all the time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> great to meet you. Very, very accomplished. And I know you have so much more that you will get out of life. Look after yourself. Uh, stay safe. And God bless you. And thank you so much for speaking with us this morning. Thank you so much, Neville. Well, take care. Yeah, man. God bless. Our Joanna Mears, international model. Still to come in 10 minutes to your health, we speak to a young lady who is living with fibromyalgia. But first, the second edition of News in 5 comes up in about four or five minutes. Stay with us, please.